Hello, I'm Shitan Shivarma. I work for Cloud Bigtable at Google Cloud. Many of our customers want fully managed services, especially databases. They don't want to manage the infrastructure. They don't want to manage the, the databases and keeping it up. Cloud Bigtable is a fully managed NoSQL database that scales linearly and with potential infinite scale. It supports HBAS API. So naturally, a lot of customers who are running on-prem HBAS wants to move to Cloud Bigtable and experience a fully managed solution. We at Cloud Bigtable have worked and provided many solutions and many tools to migrate from HBAS to Cloud Bigtable. And the migration journey from HBAS to Cloud Bigtable is now very smooth with Google provided well-tested tooling. In the following video, I talk about one such migration journey and the tools that are available to you to migrate from HBase to Cloud Bigtable. So there it is. Enjoy. Hi, welcome to Cloud Data Summit. And today we are going to talk about database migrations from HBase to Cloud Bigtable. I am Shitan Shuvarma. I'm a software engineer and I work at Google. Uh, so we are going to talk about what is Cloud Bigtable and why it should be your preferred destination for HBase workloads. We'll talk about migrations approaches with and without downtime. And then how can you get started on your migration journeys? So what is Cloud Bigtable? Google Cloud Bigtable is a fully managed, scalable NoSQL database service. It can offer you low latency, high throughput reads and writes. We want you to move your HBase workloads for Cloud Bigtable to, because as your scale increases, uh, you may face a bunch of issues with HBase. You can have stability issues at scale. You can have high operational load on your SRE and DevOps teams. And you can have the overhead of managing replication, repair, and garbage collection. Whenever you start facing these challenges, you should start considering um, managed solutions. And we offer you Cloud Bigtable, which is Google Cloud's managed solution for HBase. So why, why would you choose Cloud Bigtable for HBase? Well, first of all, the most important part is Bigtable is HBase API compatible. You don't have to change your workloads. You don't have to change your applications. You don't have to change any code. Cloud Bigtable will work with your HBase applications. It's easier and faster to migrate from HBase to Cloud Bigtable. Google provides well-tested high quality migration tooling so that you don't have to code, plan, and test your migration tooling. You can just take your data from HBase to Bigtable and then start uh, your applications there. It is used by multiple big enterprise customers as well as Google. A lot of big Google products are on Cloud on Bigtable. It's a fully managed service, which means you don't have to worry about patching. You don't have to worry about provisioning, configuring, et cetera, et cetera. It's a low touch fully managed service. So each Cloud Bigtable can, can give you low latency, high throughput system with infinite scale. It is highly available by multi-region, multi-zonal replication and automatic failover. So you don't have to worry about failing over. You can automatically fail over to a cluster if a cluster were to go down. It provides workload isolations, and it's built for internet scale applications. So let's talk about migration approaches. Primarily, there are two migration approaches. One, which is offline migrations, which require you to take downtime. Here, you will take the database down for writes, so you will not have any writes on the database while the migration is in progress. It is relatively less complex to do offline migrations and usually preferred. But in the cases where you can't take live migrations, when you are running customer serving workloads on top of your database and you can't really take a long downtime, you use live migrations wherein you stream writes to both old and new databases, in our case, HBase and Cloud Bigtable, and then do your historic data copy from HBase to Cloud Bigtable. Once everything is done, you can switch over your application to Cloud Bigtable. So we'll talk about both the online migration approaches and the online migration approaches 
for HB2 Cloud Big Table migrations. And I'm going to introduce a new live migration tooling that we are launching in that summit. So let's talk about off offline migration steps. Step one is you assess and plan your migration. You do performance benchmarking, figure out what workloads need to migrate it, so on and so forth. You install the relative tooling, then, then you take the snapshot of your HP tables, and then you export your HP snapshots to GCS. Once you have the HP snapshots on GCS, your data is on Google Cloud. Then before you start importing them, you will need to create your tables in an HP instance. So Google Cloud provides you a tool that connects to your HP cluster, creates, takes the information about all the tables, all the splits, all the column families that are there, and creates the same tables on Google Cloud, Cloud Big Table. So you don't have to worry about copying each table's column families, garbage collection policies, split points, and creating them manually. It will automatically create all that for you. The next step is you run a data flow pipeline, which Google provides to import your HP snapshot onto Cloud Big Table. Once you do that, you run a hash table job on HBase, which is provided by Hadoop to compute hashes for each of your tables and row ranges. And then you run a sync table job, which is kind of a mirror job, which computes the same hashes and compares them to make sure that all the data that was copied is imported properly onto Cloud Big Table. Once you have matched the hashes, now you're 100% sure that all the data has arrived successfully without corruption to Cloud Big Table. Once that's done, you can bring your application up and have it route to Cloud Big Table, and then later on deprecate your HBase clusters. Now I need to I need to stress I want to stress again that all of these migration steps, every tool and everything that you need is provided to you. You, the customer, don't have to write any migration tooling. Cloud Big Table will provide you benchmarking solutions which can benchmark very high QPS workloads and you can tune your like row, row sizes, number of versions, what your row key looks like. Um, and then you can, the, the HBase provides you capability to take the snapshot and export the snapshot. Big table, uh, Google will provide you schema translator tool to create your tables. It will provide you a, a, a import snapshot data for pipeline. It will provide you a sync table pipeline that goes along with the hash table that Hadoop HBase provides. So you don't have to write any code to do migrations, which is great. Now let's look at online migrations. So in online migrations, apart from apart from everything that you do from off, in offline migration, the extra step is streaming the rights to both Cloud Bigtable and HBase. Now there are various ways you can do these dual rights. You can have your application write them synchronously as part of the write, write to both databases and succeed only when both the writes succeed. You can have write to the primary database and then have a queue and asynchronously write to a second database. This saves you latency. You can have a message broker, which your applications write to message broker and then some worker writes to both HBase and Bigtable from the message broker. Or the way we prefer, the preferred approach for us is enable HBase to Bigtable's application. I'm gonna talk about this application uh, later, which is a preferred way. It, it solves most of the problems without having any impact on the HBase applications that you run. Your business applications are not impacted at all. So let's look at the steps. The steps look very similar to what you see in offline migrations. The new step here is addition of enable HBase to Bigtable replication. So this could be any of the dual write steps. So you plan the migration, you install this stuff, then you enable the dual writes. Then you take snapshot, import snapshot, validate your stuff, and once all the validations are complete, then you can just turn off the dual writes and restart your applications, writing and reading directly from Cloud Big Table. Now this dual write step is hard, and I'll tell you why, and I'll tell you what we suggest to support it. So let's look at the, the, the new library, the new tooling that we are launching today for HBase to Big Table live migrations. It's called Google Cloud's HBase to Cloud Big Table replication library. So this replication library is essentially an extension to HBase replication service. It is installed on 
HBS region servers and master. It basically reads, it, it, it listens to the HBS wall log events from the HBS application service, translates them to cloud Bigtable mutations and writes them. This application is eventually consistent, but guarantees you the ordering of mutations on both HBase and Bigtable. So if you are doing a put followed by a delete on HBase, it is guaranteed that the put is going to be followed by delete on Bigtable as well. And so the data will not diverge. There are many methods cannot guarantee this ordering, and hence you have all the kinds of data deviation between the HBase and Bigtable. This application library guarantees you ordering. It is eventually consistent. It, it can handle all kinds of failure and uh, unavailability of the destination HPS cluster or big table cluster for durations. So like you don't have to worry about if a write succeeds on cloud big table and fails on HBase, or if the write succeeds on HBase and fails on big table, that will never happen because you will always write to HBase and then cloud big table replication library will follow that in order. So, so how do you how do you operate this HBase application library? To get the replication working from HBase to Bigtable, you first install a replication library jar. This jar that will provide it to you. You install that jar on HBase, all the HBase nodes. Then you set up authentication, which basically means getting a service account JSON file and installing it on the installing it on the HBase nodes. You set up HBase site.xml to talk about destination project and destination cloud Bigtable instance, and then you reboot the HBase server. Once you reboot the HBase yeah, cluster, now the HBase master and HBase region server nodes know about the replication library. Then you add a H cloud Bigtable peer using the add peer command from HBase shell, which is how you add any HBase application peer. And once you enable the application, by add peer, now the replication will be active. All the writes that you're writing on HBase will go to Cloud Bigtable. Now, this is very important to know that this is an asynchronous replication that does not impact your writes or reads from HBase. So any application reading or writing from HBase will not even know that the replication is enabled. They will have no impact. Your business can go as is without any impact. Another benefit here is that if you have multiple applications reading or writing from HBase, None of them need to change. You don't need to do n number of modifications for each application. The applications need no change at all. Just the HBase region servers will start shipping the, the changes to Bigtable. And if something goes wrong, you can always remove the replication to Cloud Bigtable and your HBase cluster will recover. So there's one takeaway that I want you to take from this talk is that Migration from HBase to Cloud Bigtable is easy and it's fast and it's done by high quality, well-tested tools that Google provides you. You as a customer don't need to write anything. You just need to plan your migration and execute on it. And we are here to support you on your migration journey for anything that you need. Uh, with that said, I would, I would encourage you to explore the documentation, learning what Bigtable is, reading some code labs on Cloud Bigtable, and reading our end-to-end -end migration guides for both online and offline migrations. With that, thank you so much.